All right, it looks like we just discovered a third interstellar object in the solar system. The object, initially called A11 PL3C, was first observed in late June 2025 and was added to NASA's list of confirmed near-Earth objects on July 1st. As of July 2nd, it has been designated 3I Atlas, so the third interstellar object, and it's named after the robotic observatory Atlas that discovered it. Interstellar simply means that an object does not originate from within our solar system, but uh, it comes from outside and will move outside again. It's currently at around Jupiter orbit and it will move through the solar system where it will reach its closest point to the Sun in October, just inside Mars orbit. Unfortunately, the Earth will be at the exact opposite of the Sun at this point. The closest we will come to Atlas will be in December, when we will have moved on from behind the Sun. It will then move beyond Jupiter orbit again by March 2026. The best current size estimate is roughly around 4 kilometers in diameter, so it appears to be much larger than the first two interstellar objects, Oumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019. Unlike those two, Atlas is moving almost perfectly within the ecliptic, um, the same plane in which all the planets move. It was initially believed to be an asteroid, but by now, outgassing and a diffuse coma have been observed, so it is classified as a comet. How do we know it's interstellar in the first place? All the bound objects move on ellipses. They keep moving forward due to inertia, but the Sun's gravity keeps pulling at them, which curves their path until the path is closed. An ellipse. Basically, bound objects are too slow to escape the pull of the Sun's gravity. Faster objects move in on an almost straight line. The Sun's gravity curves this path, but just minimally, and the object moves off, again on an almost straight line. This is not an ellipse, but a hyperbola. Objects on a hyperbolical path come from outside the system. There are already a lot of telescopes trained on Atlas by now, and both JWST and the brand new Vera Rubin Observatory are also slated to join in. Unfortunately, Atlas is too faint to ever see it with the naked eye from Earth. You will need a pretty decent amateur telescope to have a shot. The fact that this is the third interstellar object within a decade means that it doesn't seem to be such a rare occurrence and we have much more to learn about them. Subscribe for more physics stuff.